Hello and welcome to MultimediaAnimators.com Today I'm going to tell you how to import an image and resize it in Adobe InDesign. So when you open InDesign you'll get this option. This is a preset defined options here in different sizes like A4, Letter, Tabloid, iPhone 5, iPhone 6 and so on. If you have any kind of custom sizes, if you have any custom shape and design need to be performed in InDesign, you can go for new and here you will get this option in which you have to just enter the sizes, the custom sizes which you are having right now and if you are looking for a default option, we can go ahead with this one. So suppose today I'm going to work on A4 size and that's too on landscape. So how to do the landscape? This is the orientation. Here we have a portrait mode and this is the landscape. So just have to click the landscape and here you go. Okay. Now this is the size and the A4 sheet and the landscape size. And now what you have to do is just import it manually. There are different options available to import the image. So the first thing you can drag and drop or else you can just go ahead and say place. You can choose the image which you want. If you want this image to be done or this, you can just like click it. Here, good. here you will get this option here and then when you will be working on it, you just have to drag it and then it will be on the size of the same. So this is how you're going to adjust your image and import it in, in Adobe InDesign. There are other way too. Suppose you want to import in the same way and you go ahead with this image and then the option comes. So if you're not ready to drag, if you don't want to drag, you just have to click it and the image will be on its original size. It will be imported accordingly. So if this happens, and you want to resize the image into a smaller size there are two options available either go for the manual one or automatic one automatic one is here this should be linked currently it's linked and when you uncheck it it will be unlinked so rather than putting all the information here the different sizes of width height x y axis so you just have to click link so everything will be linked and you just have to enter the percentage Suppose I want this image to be 50% smaller, so I'll say 50 and put enter. Now this image is 50% smaller. Again, this is big, so I can again reduce it to a size of 50% and then it's size. So if, if, the, if you want this image to be larger, you just have to increase. Suppose I want it to be a bigger uh, around 20% more in size. So just have to put 120%, 100% is this, and 20% more I want. So this is 120%. This is how you are going to increase the size of the image as per your requirement. Now there are different other way to increase and decrease the size. That is a manual. So you just have to press Control, Shift and Alt, Alt together and then you have to click on any one of the corner points and drag it so this is how the thing gets in and the same thing follow with decreasing the size so this is the way you resize an image here so stay tuned there are more videos to come